Right, so this is going to be a Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and as well Sagittarius Rising. Our monthly general tarot reading April 2020. And in case any of you guys is a, uh, interested in a personal reading with me, uh, check me out the description down below. It's going to give you a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such. And as well as I have uh, initiated my tarot courses, if you like the way I read tarot cards and you want to learn to read that way, um, sh shooting out the Facebook message, uh, the Facebook page, I'm sorry, with a message with an inquiry is going to give you the information you need in order to do so. So that being said, moving to the spread straight away now, the first card, which is um, marking the topic of your month here, is going to be the Five of Swords. Moving next, we do have the energies which are feeding and supporting the topic. And that is, I don't want to lie to you guys, it doesn't look like that you are off a good start. Not because you are going to have um, failures or anything, but it does point to really... I would say bad behavior from everybody around, but we're going to get into that in a minute. So next one, uh, it is the challenges that you need to overcome here. We have the judgment followed by the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy. That is to be the tower card followed by uh, the impression that you are living into the people around. We have the uh, high priestess. Afterwards, it is what you can do in order to further your long-term goal. That will be the Six of Cups. Then it is the card marking what is going to hurt your long-term goal. That will be the Page of Swords. And the last one for you, Sagittarius, which represents the guidance that Saro is offering. We have the Eight of, uh, the eight of Swords. So not over a good start. Like said, why? Well, we have the energies of the Empress, which points that under those energies, you are, be, you are going to be extremely caring for everybody around. So you're going to be caring for your friends, you're going to be caring for your family, you're going to be caring for your complete strangers with, uh, with having the Empress here. And uh, that's unfortunately with the... Um, with the topic itself, which is the Five of Swords, uh, it's uh, it's not a good thing because these people are going to take advantage. It's going to use uh, the fact that you are caring way too much. So in other words, these people are just going to take advantage of your, well, uh, of your wellness or of your kindness, if you will. And some of them may stab you in the back and may do things that was the least expected from your behalf. Like, for example, to humiliate you, to insult you, to betray your trust, you know, to betray the hopes that you have placed in them. And uh, that's why the start isn't going to be good, at least not at the start of the month. But things are going to start changing looking at the rest of the cards here. So on another note, though, uh, if we uh, seclude ourselves from the situation with the people around, uh, then those cards are pointing that the month of April is going to be a month where you're going to start planning something. That comes from the energies themselves. The Empress card, it kind of, uh, you alone are going to feel the necessity to withdraw from midst of activities, to withdraw from the craziness in your job, to withdraw a bit from the crazy activities as well into your relationship life and into your friendship life as well, just so you can um, get a grip on the situations and find a way how to approach them in the most mature matter. And by you doing so, you are going to see some potentials here and there, which you could not, uh, which you could have not scope up until this point. It is because you have been overwhelmed with all of the, uh, with all of the activity and everything that is going on around. Okay, and uh, that will make you to start planning. It, you are going to start planning big things, for example, for yourself uh, in re in referring to career, because you are to see that now you can um, incorporate some creative maneuvers in there. 
uh, as well that could be true for a uh, for a relationship in corporation that you are to start planning a big thing in big things in, for your relationship life moving forward into the future and the situation itself with the five of swords in that particular case if we once again seclude the situation from everybody around that is your personal stance here it kind of points that the more you think about it the more determined you are to become the more you think about it the more um, the more you will not be able to care less for what kind of a for what kind of a consequences the actions of the plan that you are uh, now creating are going to have moving forward into the future so in other words you are to start becoming more and more selfish which there is nothing wrong with that, seeing that everybody else around you is going to be selfish in one way, uh, in one way or the other. But here with the Empress and with the Five of Swords, we are talking about um, sowing your field. And when the harvest, the time for a harvest comes about, you want to make sure that you harvest a sweet fruit and not a, a bitter disappointment so the, uh, and that is the situation itself with the five of swords that whatever you plan okay uh, can be manifested but at the end of the day whatever victory you are, you are to achieve in term of career or in term of relationship it could go both ways it could be sweet or it could be bitter and you are to have to take it i mean you can't just waiver of it and you can't just abandon it it is yours to to maintain it is yours to tackle with so uh moving next we do have the challenges that you need to overcome and now for the rest of the cards we are talking in the narrative of the people around because this is mainly what the month is going to be all about so um judgment it's uh you will uh, basically points that you're going to find it very difficult to believe uh, actually those people are what they are showing that they are that, that they are at that particular point you won't believe that someone you had such a history with it is now betraying you in any way or it is insulting you in any way you know or it is backstabbing you in any way uh, or it is humiliating you in any way that that is the challenge itself to just listen to the wake up call or to the red flags, if you will, that the behavior of some of the people that you are surrounded yourself with, once again, that is not going to be um, applying to everybody, but it will be applying to certain people that you have not saw them in that in, in a such light. But uh, traitors and people that are thinking first and foremost for themselves. So uh, yeah, that will be the challenge here to kind of like see the red flags and and believe that this is happening because it is happening and uh, if you if you disregard all that then uh, you you are to be left into a situation when there is a consumer and it's constantly consumes from you and you're constantly giving you know and at the end of the day you have been left with the bitter disappointments and he's the one or he or she you know is the one who is to enjoy the sweet fruits from whichever labor uh, <clears throat> that is to be incorporated throughout the month of uh, april uh, moving next we do have the gift and the blessings and that will be the gift and the blessing of the tower card and it points that uh, this month uh, you are to be gifted with a as the card dictates a transformation okay so you are to be shocked of the behavior of these people and that is the gift itself the shock and the awareness that you have to do something about the connections and about the social circle that you are in or about your uh, relation or about your partner in relationship or about your uh, colleagues again that could aff afflict everybody anybody but not everybody so the gifts and the blessing here it is the cold or rather like yeah it is the cold and the brutal truth about the true nature of certain people that you had a delusions about and after that when you'll be able to make the purge because the card as well refers to a purge that you are going to make 
career-wise, relationship-wise, social circle-wise, with people, purge of a people that you are gonna just say, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to see you anymore. And uh, after the purge, uh, your life is to be rebuilt, or the uh, the circle that you make the purge in is going to be rebuilt, and it will be much better, much more productive, and much happier than before. This is just how the the tower card plays out. You know, something gets broken just so it can be rebuilt afterwards and when you rebuild it you are making it simply stronger and better and and more successful than before moving next uh, we have what kind of impression you're going to leave into the people around that relates to the empress here with uh, the high priestess people are to see how much thoughts you are putting over everything that is going on around you right now into the month of april that the people were seeing that while you may delay your verdict and your judgment it's not going to be neglected so <clears throat> people are going to be very careful and also as the month progresses they will see that you are less and less influ influenced by their opinion and by what they are telling you that you have to do and more and more you are listening to your inner wisdom to your inner guidance if you will more and more you are listening to yourself to your hunches and as well to your um premonitions if if i can say it that way and uh with that particular stance many which are just to make use of you to make use of your resources are going to start understanding that that time is almost over and they just have to make their their peace with it and they have to move on with their um consumers life rather than a life of a givers moving next it is what you can do to further your long-term goal uh that is a card a bit unrelated with the social circles guys uh this uh, for a change here and it does point that this is a month where you have to enjoy yourself simply you gotta do what you like it's, it's just as simple as that you have to approach the month uh, uh, or the endeavors in the month or the opportunities in the month just like a kid would approach its life you know the kid does only what the kid likes and when he, the kid has to do something that he dislikes he starts to cry he doesn't want to do it and he doesn't do it you can't make a toddler or a uh, a baby to do something that they don't want and it's the same thing you 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 have to do just only what you want meaning um when you go to work you attend to those things that makes you happy those things that you enjoy and like doing uh because you're gonna have the luxury to do so uh being in relationship you only um manifest enterprises which are kind of making you emotionally connected or if you uh, are baffled whom to date with then the six of cups points that you should date someone that you have physical and emotional attraction simultaneously to them uh, moving next we have uh, what can hurt your long-term goal and we are talking about the devil that is a person who is seriously um damaging your self-esteem by simply saying by simply going in a contradictory way against everything you try to do and everything you try to say so they are mocking at you they are kind of like uh, diminishing uh, your worth um, they are humiliating you or trying to humiliate you they are insulting you in any chance they can and how that hurts your long-term goal well like said you are to be shocked and you may refuse to believe that this is happening. It is happening. So you you have to pretty much detach and sever any kind of relationship you do have with the Page of Swords. As soon as you see the red flags that are to appear, you don't need that kind of a person in your life. And the last one, it's also related to the challenges here, which is the guidance that Tara is offering. That is the Eight of Swords. I'm just going to say the sentence of the Eight of Swords. If the truth makes you free guys then what the denial of it makes you this is the guidance just believe that what is happening it is happening especially when it relates to behavior of people that you least expected to see them to behave that way so that being said this was your monthly tarot reading Sagittarius April 2020 hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it guys 
And uh, once again, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such. And as soon as the purchase goes through within 24 hours, I'm going to make contact with you via email explaining you how the reading is going to take place depending on the service you have purchased. And uh, if you want, if you like the way I read tarot cards and you want to sign up for my classes, uh, you can uh, shoot the uh, Facebook page, my Facebook page with the, uh, with the inquiry and I'm going to come back to you with uh, details how you can join and what to expect as well. So yeah, stay safe now and hopefully we're going to see each other around. Till then, bye.